underwater cave photographer Carolina Wells takes us on a photo shoot in Cenotes Angelita and Actun Ha in today's episode on the Dive Saga channel. If you've been watching the last few episodes, you may have noticed that I've been spending a good amount of time in the Mayan Riviera in Mexico. This area is known for its sprawling cave systems, also known as cenotes. I've been getting cave divers certified and also hosted a dive saga trip in this amazing area. You can find episodes about these diving adventures here on the Dive Saga channel. Today I'm meeting up with underwater photographer Carolina Wells and safety diver Damien for a photo shoot in this amazing environment. Carolina Wells over here in our episode today. Carolina is an underwater photographer, but you are specialized in cenote photography, right? What does that mean? Like what is different about being a cenote photographer versus any other underwater photographer? So the main difference is that I work in the cavern and cave area. That that means we have low um, light environment and I have to play a lot with the lights. Light placement in these unique environments is definitely a factor. And while I'm just being the model, I'm eager to learn and see how Carolina gets the stunning results she does. Our first stop of the day is Cenote Angelita, a place I've dived many times before and I'm absolutely in love with. Angelita is not a cave, but rather a sinkhole with a very unique phenomenon. Fresh water fills the top 30 meters 100 feet of Cenote Angelita, but because most cenotes are connected to the ocean in one way or another, below the fresh water, the water is salty. As foliage from the overhead jungle canopy breaks off, falls into the sinkhole and decomposes, hydrogen sulfide gas is released. This gas sits between the salt and the fresh water like a giant cloud. The perfect mysterious place for a product photo shoot. Today, so I'm wearing the Scuba Pro Mark 19 G260 regulators and our mission today is to do exactly that. It's a little bit of model, but like a little bit of brand. Yeah, so exactly. I guess we're going to try to get some cool Scuba Pro regulator shots. Yeah, there's a lot of this uh, collaboration with brands and uh, with the divers. And yeah, it's what we are going to do today, like uh, showing the brand, but also show the diver and show the environment that it's very beautiful and very unique in the world that they notice here. Yeah, let's go. Huh? Unique is an understatement when referencing the mesmerizing environments Carolina operates in. When working as a product photographer in a place like this, it's key to not only let the product shine, but also maximize the potential of the surroundings. Carolina is shooting on a Sony AR74 with an 8-15mm ultrasonic Canon lens and an Isota dive housing. Not unimportant are the big blue video lights for added effect, as we'll see later. The small platform at Cenote Angelita provides access to the underworld. Aspiring photographers beware, because anything that falls into the sinkhole will tumble through the hydrogen sulfide cloud into the depths and become virtually impossible to recover. From here, the dive is basically a 30 meter, 100 foot drop down to the sulfur cloud. Safety diver Damien, whom you can see in the background, makes sure the equipment looks optimal and keeps an eye on the model. In this case, that's me. The 
the stunning visibility lends itself to beautiful wide shots and the hydrogen sulfide cloud below acts as one giant softbox, bouncing light upwards. The pile of fallen jungle debris and the hydrogen sulfide cloud make for interesting staging elements to bring the photos to life. But this is harder than it looks. Sink too deep into the cloud and the subject becomes invisible. Rise up too far above it and the effect is lost. And at this depth there isn't very much time for trial and error. The planning of the photo shoot, it has to be like very calculated because of time and, and yeah, and position. It, it, it's a lot of communication between the diver and the photographer. And that's why the planning is so important. A lot of communication is important, but when both the photographer and the model have thousands of lumens of video lights and dive lights shining in opposite directions and blinding each other, the planning better be solid. For one shot, safety diver Damien stages a large video light behind me. This creates a separation between the model and the background. It's not something for every shot, but a super cool effect for sure. Time is running low, so we stage one more shot at a shallower cavern passage to get some cave-like shots. After that, it's time to leave the darkness behind and level up. In the shallows, the sun rays piercing through the jungle foliage help create a magical light effect as they break through the cenote water. As a professional underwater photographer, Carolina knows that every second of the dive must be spent looking for additional photo opportunities to increase the yield of this shoot. Tell me something, did, did you get any good shots? Amazing shots, yeah, yeah you did a, a good, good job. Huh? And you're, <laughs> you are? fashion looking. <laughs> the direction, the right direction all the time, so... Thank you. Yeah, it's. I have to work really hard to look good. Nah, <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> I no. don't believe you. <laughs> uh, no, I'm actually born that way. Uh, it's one of the best models I have so far. <laughs> like, for first dive together, like communication, everything is perfect. Ah, wow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the bright lights, it's always tricky, yeah? yeah. To like, try to see behind. Yeah. But it was nice, yeah, thank you so much. But this isn't our only location for the day. Angelita is super cool, but we still have something more cavernous on the menu. Now, Carolina, you are a professional underwater photographer. Mm -hmm. That means that your the majority of your income, maybe all of it comes from this. But I think a lot of people wonder, how do you do that? How do you make it your job? And when I started with underwater photography, that was a big challenge. Like I was seeing a lot of photographers, like uh, a lot of reference, and I didn't know how to write there. Um, but slowly, like I started to buy my first setup and I started to take pictures and people slowly got interested to be in the pictures. So mostly of my income, it comes from cool divers that wants to have a nice memory from the dives and they book me as a photographer. Uh, sometimes I also work with professional models underwater. Like today. <laughs> yeah, like I do collaborations and the result of these pictures, it's also an income. When shooting for clients, like today, it's important to have enough time and variety of location. So we make a stop at Cenote Actunha, also known as Car Wash. A cenote with a large, shallow, open area with pristine visibility, as well as a substantial cavern and cave area. Even though the clear water and sunlight offer an excellent location in the open water, we are here for the cavern area. Shooting in these overhead environments brings with it its own set of unique planning considerations and challenges. Because we are in the cavern and the cave, no? so we are limited by time, uh, consumption, etc. So that's, that's a difficulty, but also it makes it very special for me. 
Like, I like challenge. It's important to note that everyone involved on this shoot, including the photographer, is cave diving certified. Photography adds a level of potential distractions to any kind of dive. In cavern or cave diving specifically, being distracted can be potentially fatal. Even experienced underwater photographers and certified cave divers should proceed with caution before combining these two sets of skills. What Carolina does takes a lot of skill, dedication and practice. But once these skills are mastered and combined with the right dose of entrepreneurship, the results are absolutely stunning. Definitely give Carolina a follow and keep an eye out for the results over on Instagram and here on YouTube on the Dive Saga channel. <laughs> awesome, thank you, that's great. It's okay. And yeah, that's amazing. I, I don't know if I talk too much. I cut, yeah, but I will cut it. I will cut it completely. <laughs> Let me